We're going to turn back now to the latest on that deadly shooting in Jacksonville where a gunman opened fire at a video game tournament, leaving three dead, including the gunman. So let's go back to Amy, who's there in Jacksonville, with the announcer who was calling the tournament. Good morning again, Amy. That's right. Good morning again to you, Robin. Yes, three dead, 11 others injured, but more than 100 people here at Jacksonville landing yesterday, and among them was Toshiba Sharon, who is exclusively joining us. He was announcing the tournament when the shooting happened. Toshiba, thank you for being with us. And I know you were 10, 15 feet away from the shooter when he started shooting. Yes. How are you doing this morning? Um, I'm doing fine, considering. You know, I'm just, just, I'm just here to. Um, just, just to pay respects to, you know, brothers that were lost yesterday. And I know yeah. that you are still reeling from what you saw and what you heard. Can you walk us through uh, what happened when he started shooting? Um, well, we were doing the broadcast. We were uh, streaming the broadcast, playing the game, and uh, two kids were uh, playing the game. And when the shooting, when the shootings first started, I thought it was maybe a technical difficulty, maybe a light bulb blowing, and. Um, the first shot and then the second shot I kind of focused on the shooter and I could see the gun and I could see him aiming into the room. He was and, aiming at someone in particular. Yes, yes, he was aiming at the uh, the kid that was shot first and um, uh, True Boy and uh, Eli Clayton and um, he aimed at him and he shot him and then uh, as, the, as the shots continued that's when we ducked and um, we put the, uh, the table, we flipped the table over and put it up as a shield and kind of just laid there under the, under the table. But you said you wanted to keep your eye on him. Yes, at the same time I didn't know whether to play dead or to look out but I, I decided to look out and peek out every, every shot. We're, uh, we're looking over the table but it's trying to stay low just to see if the shooter was going to continue shooting, maybe walk the room or I just don't know what, I mean, what, what to expect. What's going through your mind in these moments? <sighs> I don't know. I don't know what's going through my mind. Uh, family, <laughs> you know what I mean? If I'm going to get back to my wife and children, uh, just, uh, just, just everything, you know, at that point in time. But uh, afterwards, it was just, just grief, you know, just disbelief. Because you saw everything. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I could see right in front of me. I mean. I see, say, 10 feet, maybe less. You know, these kids are right in front of me. They're kids, you know, they're, they're young men, and they, they were just alive. They were just talking to them two seconds ago, so. And you have yeah. a message for the families of the victims and for this community in general, because you want to talk a little bit about the people who were there. Yeah, yeah, I just I just wanted to pay my respects to the people, um, uh, True Boy, and it's uh, Eli Clayton, and um, it was, um, Taylor Robertson and um, I just wanted to pay my respects to the family and just let them know that their family member didn't die alone. They died with um, they died with family yeah. <laughs> and they died with a, a brotherhood that loved them and they died doing something that they uh, loved to do and you know just the, the actions were dark and the act, it was a tragedy yesterday but that tragedy um, may have taken away that life but it'll never take away the memories of them and Hopefully, as a community, as a Madden community, we could come together and honor them, you know, and honor them just in coming together as a people and come together and, and let everyone know that everyone's connected. And it's no bubbles, it's no individual people. We're all one. And hopefully, those events yesterday crossed those lines, merged those lines to where everyone knows that everyone's affected and we need to work together and understand people's needs and, and talk to their needs and address their needs because their needs are affect us. Yes. Mm -hmm. We're all in this together. That mm -hmm. that was beautiful to see, but thank you so much for joining thank you. us. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Robin, I'm going to send it back to you. All right, Amy, thank you very much and hopefully his words will bring comfort to those families. Yeah, powerful message yeah. there. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel and don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.